to our our iPad. How are you guys doing? Let's see who's here so far. Looks like we got um All right, let's see. Let's say Bedenice, good morning. Paula Jaime, good morning. Uh Paola Alfaro, good morning. Cindy Chun, good morning. Matt Flores, Jessica Ortiz, good morning. Blanca Hernandez, good morning. Tian Chin, good morning. Matt Flores, good morning. Um, Johanna Landeros, good morning to you. Jackie Lugo, good morning. And Rafael Diaz, good morning. Jocelyn Arangal, good morning to you. Uh, Benjamin Botello, good morning. And it uh, looks like we got some people showing up here, so good. Uh, Cassandra Vasquez, good morning to you. Uh, Leonardo Gonzalez, good morning. And um, yeah, Austin Lacurto, good morning as well. Hey, Austin, I think you're in the calculus class too. Is that right? I think so. Okay. All right. Thank you, Austin. Um, okay. Let's take a look here. Uh, let's see where we're at. And um, so I want to go over a couple of things here for you guys. I'm going to go straight to my website. Okay. And in my website, of course, here's your page. Um, we got this online transition. Okay. Um, you have uh, this link here for conditional probability. This is the video that we did yesterday. And that's there. And I'm going to put, I'm going to finish off from the sheet here, the conditional probability sheet, just to be clear. I got to upload this for you guys later during office hours. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Carla. Um, we went over some details here about conditional probabilities the last time we were together. But what I promise you guys I'm going to upload is this deck question, conditional probabilities that we have here, probably an A skim that the card is red, number nine, and so on. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about some of these details here. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm going to just make a little bit of modification. So just thinking to myself. So I'm going to write these things down and upload them for you. I'm going to put them on my website right next to this uh, YouTube link. There's going to be examples. And what we're going to work on today would be probability multiple selection. Since and actually, if you guys go back, some of these questions, let's go back for a second here. Some of these questions, in fact, with the cards, this deck of cards, and I have a nice picture for you guys, right? Study this picture. This picture is, um, oh, it doesn't look like the aces are there. So the aces are, we put the aces high. So maybe the picture's cut off. I got to double check that. Ace is high. It's going to be to the right. It's above a king. So anyway, we actually answered these in class. So when we were uh, present, we actually did, the, did this on, on campus, okay? So check your notes. We went through those details already. This is why um, I'm going to just upload them. But anyway, they're going to be right here next to the, uh, the YouTube links. And so today, though, I'm going to say I want to focus on the next worksheet or the next set of notes called probability multiple selections. Okay. And so what I'm going to do here is a couple of things. I'm going to bring this into... Um, our iPad, I guess. So we're going to work on, on this sheet. And I want to show you that this here, if I go back and find it, probability, multiple selections. Okay, there it is. Okay. This starts really with the definition right up here, definition of conditional probability. I'm going to move it all the way over here. So it starts with this definition. Probability of A given B is N of A and B over N of B. So that's the first line. And what I'm going to show you all the way through here, the very last line, here's every detail. If you guys notice right up here, 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 I'm going to use... Multiply by 1, 1 over n of s, divided by 1 over n of s is 1. And then I do my multiplication here with fractions. And I prove to you guys here, here's what I've proven on this sheet. 
that the probability of A and B equals the probability of B. In other words, this conditional probability is also equal to probability of A and B over probability of B. This is the formal proof of it. However, what's going to happen now is I'm going to show you that this means by doing some algebra, by multiplying both sides by P of B, really. Right? If I said to you, I'm going to multiply both sides here by P of B, algebraically speaking. Okay. I get cancellation. The point I'm making is I get the following. That doesn't look too good. Multiply by P of B. Here's what we get. Probability of A and B will equal oh, probability of B times that probability of A given B. So we're all the way down here at this last portion here. And then I write down a little phrase here that's important for us to know. Here's the phrase at the, left, at the bottom of the page. Okay. We say, I want to point out that the statement A and B like if I said to you, I'm going to give you guys a banana and an apple. Or I should say A for apple, right? I'm going to give you an apple and a banana. What I want to point out to you is that this logical statement can be said this way as well. And it's the same statement. I'm going to give you, instead of an apple and a banana, I'll give you a banana and an apple. Okay. Apple and banana is the same as banana and apple. Now, I know you can't see this, so let's, let's write this down. There you go. You can see everything now. But what I want to remark is that I can switch these letters like I switched A and B. So this becomes P of A times P of B given A. So... Because logically speaking, A and B is the same as B and A. I get this form that's going to be extremely useful for us. Okay? Now I'm going to do one last thing. Isn't that banana and apple the same as apple and banana? The answer is yes. So altogether, here's the summary. Probability of A and B can be described as the probability of A times the probability of B given A. Okay, this is, this is really what we call a proof in mathematics. And this is really an important detail for today, okay? This is going to be pretty big for us. Okay, so for today, remember the title of what this is. This is going to be probability with what we call multiple selections. Now, multiple selections means we are really doing this. Here's what this means in the context. We have to always remember the context. We're going to select more than one item at a time. More than one item. Now, remember, what does more than one mean? More than one means you're going to select either what? Two items. Three items. Okay, it could be even four items. Let's let's write this down a bit a bit better. Or more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. So multiple items or multiple selections. We're gonna select not one item. Everything we did in the past was one. 
now we're going to select more than one. That's what we're doing. We're selecting more than one. But here's the key. You might say, how are we going to select items, you know, in these probability contexts, the probability of questions, like two items. We're going to select two items now. We're going to select three items now. Four items. How are we going to start to select things? Here's the key. We select them one at a time. So let's put this down here as a star. We select our items. One at a time. In other words, it's sequential. So you're going to have a first item. You're going to have a second item. You're going to have a third item and so on. You do it sequentially. So I wrote it down in terms of these letters, A and B, for a very good reason. Right? A happens first because A becomes, or A is a letter that happens, occurs before the letter B. So we have A first, and then that's followed by second. Same thing here. A is first. B is second. A is first. So our items that we select are going to be certainly more than one. We're going to start with two items. And then we're going to do three. And we're going to select them one at a time. Now, that's the key here. So you guys know. Your items are selected completely one at a time. Okay. And so this is known here as the multiplication rule for probability. And it's specifically, since it's just the letters A and B, it's specifically for two selections, two items. So this is where we're starting with today, and it's an important detail. Uh, let's bring back our sheet. Let's see. Okay, there it is, and everything I'm deriving. Okay. Oh, sorry. Got the wrong one in here. Let's get this. Let's bring it back here. Probability, multiple selections. Okay, here we go. So here we're at. Probability of A and B, we've, we've already gone down all the, way, all the way through this. This is the multiplication rule. We're looking at two selections. This is what I'm saying. Um, if you look at the bottom of the page, two selections, probability of A and B is the probability of A times the probability of B given A. A happens first and B happens second. Okay? So here's, here's what's going on. I'm going to start with this sort of question here. Okay, so let's we're going to continue to go back to this. Let's, let's look at this. Here's what your guys are going to really be concerned with. Okay? I'm going to go through this with great detail. I'm going to go back to our bag of marbles. And if you read this here, we have a bag of marbles. We have red marbles. We have white marbles. We have blue marbles. We have green marbles. We have yellow marbles. We have black marbles. Six are red. Four are white, eight are blue, two are green, one is yellow, and five are black. So, I just want to ask you guys a quick question here. Okay. Tell me how many marbles are in the bag. In other words, I want to know, if you guys recall, what's N of S here for the marbles? You have to tell me how many marbles are in this particular bag for this lecture. Because this is going to be very important. Anybody have an idea? 
you're going to say 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 8 is 18, plus 2 is 20, plus 1 is 21, and 5. Thank you, Cassandra. This is what? 26 marbles in this particular bag. Okay, so I want to I start this off with this. And I want to also mention here. Yeah, I know. You guys know because there is a lag here. Thank you, you guys. You're, you're very good. Let's, let's, ask, let's see what this question says, right? If you look at this, here's what they're asking. If you're going to select, notice you're going to select two marbles. And they're going to use the phrase without replacement. I know you guys can't see this, but I'll make sure you can. Okay. They're going to select two marbles without replacement. They're going to know what's the probability. of selecting question one. It's probably both are red. Okay, now both means, if you guys know, since we're selecting, let's go back up here. Two marbles. They want to know Here's my two. What's the chance that both of them are going to be what color? Red. Selecting two marbles, and both are red. Okay. Here's, what, here's the key again. Remember, we select them one at a time. And what that means is the first selected marble is red. And the second selected marble is red, since both are red, and you're selecting two, right? That kind of makes sense? Both red, meaning first is red, and the second's red, because we select them one at a time. One at a time. Okay, we're going to use our multiplication rule, right? So when they want to know, here's what we write down. The probability of the first is red, and the second is red. Let's go back to our definition. See this P of A? A happens first. That's the probability of the first is red. Sorry, I can do it that way. I'm right. That's the probability the first is red. This is the A letter, right? Right up here. This is A. Now, look at the next part. It's a conditional probability. Here's what you want to focus on now. We want to know the probability, if you see this, they're now talking B. B happens what? Second. So this means, let's see if we have some space here. Probability, the second marble is red, given that. Can we say given that what? Let's go back. Given the letter A, what's the event for A? That the first item was selected. And in this example, A represents the first red selected marble. So this here, the first is red. And I'm going to move this out of the way so you guys can see. Okay? This here is how we use the multiplication rule for probability. 
It's based on past information because we're selecting items one at a time sequentially. Selecting a red marble first and another red marble written this way. First is red and second is red. That's the probability the first is red times the probability the second is red given that the first is red. This is how you guys want to do this. Okay, this is your first example, and this is a very important example, and this is what we're going to do. Now, we have to answer these questions. Okay, we're going to see if you're awake here. Let's move this here. Okay, so let's reach in this bag the chance, the probability that we select a first marble being red. Well, that's just like the questions we've always used or looked at. What's the chance that that's simply red? So close your eyes, reach in the bag. How do we answer that kind of question? Do you guys remember? We need to know how many marbles in this bag are actually red. And we say, oh, there are six red marbles in that bag. And remind me, because if I go back and look at your comments, you guys all said there is 26 marbles. Okay? 26 marbles were in that bag. Because when you answer this kind of question, it simply goes back to the definition. What's the chance of selecting a red marble? Well, it's the number of red out of the total. So you got 6 out of 26. Okay. Okay. So this is what we do first. Thank you, Matt. This is the first step. We just answer a probability question in the same way we've been doing it. Not a big deal. Now, what you have that's new today, and it's really not that new because we went over it really before we had this break, and uh, it's going to be part of some of those examples. So look at the website later today. This is the probability the second is red, given that the first marble is red. So this is where there's some discussion. Okay, Chance that the second marble is red, given that the first is red. Okay. All right. Now, and, and yes, um, Matt, you're correct. Leonardo, yes, you do divide the amount of red marbles by the total. This is going to be, again... Twenty-six total marbles. That's the definition of probability. Okay. Now let's let's consider this. I want you guys to think about the next probability question, the conditional probability. They want to know what's the probability that the second selected marble is red. Okay, you're going to now select the second marble because we're doing it one at a time. Now remember the condition. Given that, what do we know? This is my condition that the first marble was red. So we know that's happened. Remember the conditional probability? The condition is known. It's happened. So we got to be careful here. What do we do with that first selected marble? Right? We selected a marble now, and we know that first marble was red. What do we do with it? Do you throw it out the window? Meaning, do you keep it out of the bag? Or do you put it back in the bag to be selected again? So we have a real dilemma for this question at this point. It's a serious dilemma. It has to be resolved before we can even continue. So if we know the first red marble was selected, what do we do? And You know, the first marble we select was red. What do we do with that marble? What do we do with the red marble? Do we throw it out the window, keep it out of the bag, or do we put it back in? So I'll give you guys a quick few seconds here. I want you guys to think about it. What do we do? Should we just make it up? Should we determine it ourselves? What do you guys think we do? What do we do with that first red marble? Catherine Molina has a, a recommendation. She has an answer. Okay, but let me ask you guys, what do we do with that first red marble? Did we keep it in the bag, put it right back in, or do we throw it out the window, leaving it out of the bag? Anybody have an idea? We 
go. Let's go back and read this. The answer is in what it says. Here's the answer. Select two marbles, and I'm going to highlight this phrase. Without replacement. With, without replacement. Did you guys know what does it mean to uh, without? What does without replacement mean? Without replacement, ladies and gentlemen, means specifically this. It means without replacement means do not right. Do not put it back in the bag. Without means do not. Do not replace. So do. Not what? Replace. And you guys are giving this answer. You write, keep it what? Out of the bag. Now, some of you guys are going to answer this kind of question. So let's take a look. Let's see. See what you guys are saying. Let's see. Um, um, yeah, Jackie. Yes, you keep it out of the bag. Anna Mendez. Yes, you put it. To the side, absolutely. I say throw it out the window because it's very uh, dramatic, right? And Benjamin, yes, we keep it out. Catherine, you're right. We keep it out of the bag, right? So we're keeping this out of the bag. That first selected marble that's red is out of our bag. Good. Now, let's think. Here's the thinking part. Let me try to get this out of the way. So we want to know, here's the second selection. What's the probability now? The selected marble here, this is what we're trying to answer. The second selected marble is red, given that we know we kept a, a first selected marble that's red, it is out the window. It is out the window. Now, I want to say to you guys, what did we throw out the window? We threw out the window the first red marble we selected this is out since i've i started with 26 marbles and i threw a, a red marble out the window i now have 25 marbles is that right and of the 25 marbles how many are red well go back six were red one is gone it's out the window so that leaves us with now five red marbles So the probability that the second marble is red depends on what we did with the past marble. And what we did with the past marble was we threw it out the window because they told us to. They said without replacement. Throw it out the window. Okay? Now, I want you guys to note something here. I want to be complete. Let's be very complete. This is a good learning moment. Here's a note. What do you think with replacement means in this context? And I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to put it down here, lower here. I'm going to want you guys, as, as I write this down again, I want you guys to think about this. Here's a very important note here. What does with replacement mean? Because we're selecting them one at a time. First is 6 out of 26. Let's think. With replacement. Because you're going to see a couple of phrases. You're going to see either with replacement or you're going to see the phrase without replacement. That's a different question. It's very, it's slightly different, but it's still different. When we say with replacement, the first probability is still 6 out of 26. So what's the probability that the second marble's red? Given that the first marble we selected was red, but now in this context, they want us to do what? Replace the marble. What do you think that phrase means? Does anybody know? Do you guys know what that means? I think Matt has a, has a good idea. With replace, it means you put... 
the marble what? Back in the bag. So you start over. You keep the marble back in the bag. Just put it back. You're right, Jessica. You're right, Blanca. You're, you're right, Matt. When the phrase there is with replacement, you put the marble back in the bag. And if that's the case, you might say, then what do we know about the probability? The chance you select a second marble being red again, given that the first marble you selected was red, but you put it back in the bag, now means you have what? 26 marbles again. In fact, you have six that are what? Red still. Because you put the marble back in the bag. You guys okay with that? This is an extremely important detail in this multiplication rule. You put the marble back in the bag. This is called with replacement. So, without replacement means that first selected item stays out. With replacement means... The second selected, I'm um, yes, with replacement means the second selected marble gets put back in, or the selected item gets put back in. Okay, let's rephrase that again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Without replacement, the first selection stays out. With replacement, that first selection goes back in. It's like starting all over blindly. The chance you select. A red marble is 6 out of 26. See, you guys got the answers there. Okay, so there's a, there's a very different way to answer these questions. You got to know, is it with replacement or without? Because we're going to get these numerical answers now. See, we're going to answer the question because we're not done. We're not done with this. Okay? So we're going to find the values, the numerical values here. So I'm going to remind you guys, when you multiply fractions... Let's, let's remind you, you multiply straight across, right? This way. You guys know what I'm talking about? So we're going to have to find the product here of 6 over 26 times 5 over 25. So I'm going to go to my trusty TI calculator. And we're going to find how to actually, let's find where our TI is. There you go, TI. We're going to actually do this um, computation. So let me show you how, you how you guys want to do this, right? You can do it a couple of ways. I can say, I okay, I can say parentheses. My first fraction is 6 divided by 26. Close the parentheses. That's my first fraction. I got to multiply this by another fraction. That's going to be... 5 divided by 25. Okay, you guys okay with that? And I'm multiplying two fractions there. This is going to equal a numerical value of 0 0.04615. So I'm going to write this down. All right, so let me show you guys this. What's going to happen now is people typically ask this kind of question. What do you do? What do you do when you approximate? Because in the instructions, they didn't even tell you. They didn't say, hey, where to approximate. Well, I'm going to tell you guys now. Let's, go, let's figure out how to approximate this. Let's go to the nearest. Um, you guys know what I like. I like going to the nearest tens, hundred thousands position. Or 10 thousandths position, right? So for this first example, I'm going to go to the thousandths position, meaning tenths. Let's do this. Tenths, hundred thousand. I'm going to look at the digit to the right. The digit to the right is a one. So if it's a zero, one, two, three, or four, we leave the six alone. If it's a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we add one of the six and we get seven. So in this case, it's 0 0.046. This here will be our final answer. This is the probability of selecting two red marbles. Mm. 
now, I want to say something here. Let's look at the, let's see if you guys can see this. There you go. Okay. That's the probability of selecting two red marbles without replacement. Let's look at the probability of selecting two red marbles now with replacement. So to find that out now, this is again going to be a probability, right? Our approximate approximation. We're going to now need to look at our calculator because we have 6 over 26. Now, here's something you guys could know. I just want to say something here mathematically. Go back. What is this equal? This is 6 over 26 raised to the second power. So I can simply do the following. If I have a repeat multiplication, it's an exponential. So this is actually going to save us a little bit of time. I'm going to say now, let's go, let's go to our calculator. Put a parenthesis here. 6 over 26. Close that. I need the power key, right? You guys remember that. I need uh, the second power. So I'm going to raise this here. I can do this. I can use the key over here, x squared. Or I could have used the carrot key. Go back if I say let's not do that. I guess I, I could go back. I can say carrot. Oops. Carrot, second power. It's the same thing. The carrot key is a power key, so I can use either. Notice the different answers. It's going to be a different answer. With replacement and without replacement gives you different answers. Here, we're going to write this down. We're going to look at some of these digits here. So again, I know they didn't say where to approximate. You guys already know tenths, hundred, thousands. So I'm going to tell you now. We're going to do the thousands. We're going to look at the digit to the right. That's why I put this little eyeball. Oops, sorry. You look at the digit to the right. It's a two. What does that mean if it's a two? Do I add one to the three or do I leave it alone? You guys know. What's your approximate answer? Good. Thank you, Joanna. You leave it alone and take a look at this. Probability is a 0 0.053. So whether it's with replacement or without replacement, what you guys see is that's an important factor. You're going to get a different answer. So here's our first example with great detail. First example of how to select two red marbles from this bag. Of course, we do it one at a time. And we have to know, is it with replacement or is it without replacement? There we go. So good job, you guys. Um, it's very good. Let's try to go now to the second question. Let's try to do this really fast or faster. Because the first one takes some time. So the second question here is, what's the probability that both are white now? So like before... Both marbles are white. That means the first is white. It means the second's white. By definition, the probability that the first is white and the second is white. That's the probability the first is white times probably the second is white given the first is white. I know you guys can't see, but you can see now. Okay. 
And we know since it's question two, question two was without what? Without replacement. Okay, we need to go to the bag of marbles here. We need to know for the first problem here. Probability of the first is white. We need to know the number of white marbles in the bag out of the total. We know there's 26 marbles in the bag. Let's read. Oh, six are red and four are white. So this is four out of 26. That's the first probability. So now we have to answer the second probability, which is a conditional probability. The second probability is saying, okay, we selected items one at a time. What's the probability your selected marble is white? Given that, given that, what is known? Here's what's known. What's known is the first selected marble is white. Since it's without replacement, we threw that first selected marble that's white out the window. It is no longer in the bag. I'll repeat. The first selected white marble is out the window. It's not in the bag. So the chance that the, selected, the second marble is white is now 3 out of what? 25. And so, yes, Catherine, excuse me. Probability is 3 out of 25. So I'm going to go to my calculator and say, calculator, let's do some arithmetic here. All right? Let's go to the calculator. I can enter fraction 4 divided by 26, close that, times 3 divided by 25. We get 0 0.01846153385. Now, let's see what we do with this, right? What we do with this number here, or what we do with this, is we're going to approximate against the nearest thousands. So tenths, hundreds, thousands. You guys remember that? Eight. Put your eyeball next to the four. Final answer is approximately 0 0.018. 0 0.018. Okay, so this is the first answer, 0 0.018. This is going to be the probability of selecting two white marbles. And, of course, this is done with out. Without replacement. And I want to go back, and I didn't mention this a little bit earlier, but if we look at the sheet I gave you guys, the notes here, okay? This is without replacement. Here's your answer. Ah, sorry. Let's go back here. There we go. Okay. If you look at the questions, the first one was, what's the probability they're both red? And the second question, which we just answered, the probability they're both white. But if you look down here, if you select two marbles, uh, with replacement from the bag and question number nine is they're both red what I want to say to you guys is we already answered here when we said with replacement this is the answer for number nine so we did two of them now if you said okay what about number two we did this with replacement and you say what about let's note Sorry, number two is done without replacement. What if it's with replacement? 
right? This is question number 10, so you guys know. We look at this. 10, both are white with replacement. So we can do another question in this process. We already know the first probability Four out of 26 times we answer the second probability again. Okay, go back here. Up here, sorry. What's the chance again? The second selection is white, given that when the first selected marble was white, but now if it's with replacement, you put it back in the bag. So what's the chance that we get a white marble again? Well, the process starts all over. Again, it's going to be four out of that 26. Okay, you guys okay with that? So you're getting 10 as an aside here to compare and contrast the without replacement scenario and the with replacement. So you know mathematically this becomes 4 out of 26 to the second power. And 4 out of 26 to the second power. Let's go to our calculator. We take 4 divided by 26, close that, raise it to the second power. And here's the, here's, here's the answer. 0 0.0236, let's write that down. Six, eight. Six, three, nine, one. Okay. So this is the, what the calculator is saying. So if we say again, we're going to approximate this to, you guys remember? We're going to approximate this to the nearest tens, hundred, thousands. See the six? The six now says add one to the three. You guys are right. Here's what we're looking at. It says add one to that three since it's a six. So it's point zero two four. Now I have here. A good question. All right. This is Catherine's question. Do we turn our answers into percentages? That's a very good question. Now, the answer is it depends on what they're asking you. If they say to you, what's the probability? Well, then you answer these questions. They're giving you a probability. So you're there. Okay. Um, however, when you talk to people like this answer here, the two point, um, you know, point zero two four. Language says this is two point four percent. So just in conversation, we might say to people because you know people aren't really used to saying point zero two four in everyday language, right? Um, they are they are more account uh, accustomed to the percent language. So you can say, guess what? The chance you select two white marbles from this bag, in this case, it was with replacement is 2.4%. Remember, any probability that's under 5%, what do you guys know? What does that mean to have a probability value under 5%? Do you guys remember? What that means is the event is rare. It's not likely. So it's not likely from this particular bag that you select two white marbles with replacement. It's not likely to happen, okay? It's still possible, but it isn't likely because anything under 5% is not likely. So that's how you answer or think about, Catherine, the question of do you turn your answers into percentages? Well, if they ask you in your instructions, you certainly do. But if they ask you to find probabilities, well, that's the decimal representation, not percent. So you're done, written in black, 
But then you think to yourself, wow, 2.4% in red. Not likely to happen. Okay? You guys okay with that? This is Catherine's question. Okay. Now, I want to do something here. I'm going to jump a little bit here. I want you guys to consider this next example. Okay? Because like I said, what I can do later is put a, uh, a PDF file for some of these questions. I want to go straight down to number five for you guys. So I'm going to say you guys can do number three and four very similarly. And then number five, because number five is interesting. Number five looks like this. It says, what's the probability? Both selected marbles are non-blue. Okay, that's what number five is saying. And again, this is done without replacement. So what you guys really want to think about here, okay, you got to think about a couple of things. Number one, both not being blue, that means the first selection is not blue, and it means the second selection is not blue. So if we go to our multiplication rule, probability the first is not blue, and the second is not blue. That's a probability the first is not blue, Times are probably the second is not blue, given that the first is not blue. Okay, so we have to think about this because we're going to have to reach in this bag. And at first here, we need to know that we're going to select at first a non, oh, go back, I made a mistake, first is not blue, because both being not blue means the first is not blue, and the second is not blue, so here's how we're setting this up, we have to answer that first probability, what's the chance, if we reach in this bag, that the first selected marble is not blue, remember, Compliments are your friend. So I know there's 26 marbles in the bag. The chances, the first is not blue. We simply need to know how many non blue marbles are in this bag. Okay, do you guys remember the complement rule? Let's read this. We know red is not blue, white's not blue, blue is blue, green is not blue, yellow is not blue, and black is not blue. So how many marbles are not blue here? Well, 26 minus 8. 8 marbles are blue. 26 minus 8, what does that give you? 18. So the chance that that first selection is not blue is 18 out of 26. There is 18 marbles in this bag that are not blue out of the total of 26. Okay. Do you guys see why we want to um, consider compliments? It's very important. So let's go back now. Let's go back and take a look. We need to know for the second probability, right? We're back over here again. Answer this conditional probability. What is known is that the first selected marble from this bag is not blue. We're selecting them one at a time, and we're doing this without replacement. So what's the chance that the second marble that you select is not blue? Given that the first is not blue, what do you guys know? 
26 marbles were in the bag. You threw one out the window. Means you now have 25 marbles. Which marble did you throw out the window? We threw a non-blue marble out the window. So how many blue marbles, or I should say, how many non-blue marbles are left? If there were 18 to start, there is now 17 because you threw it out the window. Okay? You threw a non-blue marble out the window. You started with 18. It's out the window. You now have 17. There were 26 marbles to start. You now have 25. This, again, is without what? Replacement. That's number five. Yes, Catherine, you're correct. Okay. Now, this is how we answer the without replacement, right? And I'm going to give you guys another note here. Let's note. With replacement. And um, let me write it lower. Because we're not done answering them, but I, I do want to say... With replacement, 18 out of 26 for that first election. And then you guys know, you start all over again. Put the marble back in the bag. Second probability here will be the same, 18 out of 26. And, of course, that's 18 out of 26 to the second power. So we're going to have some approximate answers here again. So we're going to do some calculator work. And again, to remind you that the with replacement questions are on the bottom here. So what are we doing? Non-blue. Oh, this is number 13. So I just want to remark. This is 13 for you guys. Okay. All right. Let's try this out. Let's go to our calculator here. TI calculator. So, the first one is going to be 18 divided by 26 times 17 divided by 25. Okay? Let's see what you guys get numerically. 0.47. 9, 2, 3, and so on. And remember, we approximate here to the nearest, oh, tens, hundred thousandths, right? So you're going to go to the iPad. Tens, hundreds, thousandths. This is going to be point four seven. Remember your eyeballs now at the 7? What does that mean to do to the 0? You add 1.47. One. Right. Good. Good job, Cindy. Take a look. Let me let me get this out of the way for you guys. There you go. All right. Thank you, James. OK, so if we go now back to. The T.I. and we're going to get. 18 divided by. 26. Let's close this to the second power, and what do you guys get? We get 0.479289. Another 9408. So here you go. Let's go back to the iPad. And remember, we're going to approximate this to the Tens, hundred, thousands. So, let's see what this becomes. Let's double check. Yeah, isn't it going to be 0.479, you guys? Okay with that one? Now, go back up. 
here and say this was the question number five. This is answer number 5.471, but the answer for 13 is 0.479. This is what you guys get when you do with replacement and without replacement for a non, in this case, two non-blue marbles. And both non-blue does mean, in fact, two are what? Non-blue. Okay. Good job, good job. So let's take a look at this sheet again. Let's try to sneak a couple in now. Um, both non-yellow. That's question, um, well, you got non-black. Okay, we could do non-black. How about if we do number 16, both are non-yellow? Okay, both are non-yellow now. I'm going to do number 16. And remember, the rest of these examples, I'm going to actually do um, some of these here for you guys on that PDF. So both non-yellow. Let's see if we could get this in. Okay. So you're selecting two marbles. The first is not what? Yellow. And the second is not what? Yellow. Oh, the first is not yellow, and second's not yellow. That's a chance the first is not yellow. Chance the second is not yellow, given that the first is not yellow. Okay. Number 16. is without replacement. So, let's answer the first probability here. The chance that the first selected marble is not yellow, while well, we know that there's 26 marbles, of which this bag has one marble that's yellow. One is yellow. And what that means is... 25 are not yellow. If one's yellow out of 26, 25 are not yellow. So this is 25. Now, that's the first selection. The chance the second selection is not yellow, given that we know the first selected marble is yellow. We know we selected a non-yellow. We threw it out the window. We now have how many? We now have what? 24 non-yellow marbles out of 25 marbles. So this here is without replacement. Note. With replacement. Ah. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Let's go back here and find out what number this is. Let's number it correctly. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's do 16. This is, this is you're right, with replacement. Let's go back here and do both are non-yellow. This is actually going to be 8 and 16. Good, good. Well, okay. No, we'll do it that way. Let's, let's keep with this. You guys are right. This is with replacement. So let's go back to see what you guys are saying here. Right? We have, um, let me see if I could do this for you guys. Huh. Jackie, you're right.
both Jackie and Blanca are correct. Okay. All right, this is 16. This is with replacement. Okay. So you guys know we got to change this to 25 out of 26. Good job, you guys. However, go without replacement. Without replacement is actually number eight. Okay, so we're going to do both. So here, 25 out of 26 times 24 out of that 25. Okay, so now we're good. We're going to see what these answers are. So we can get some good exercise here with this. Okay. All right. Let's do the first one, number 16. Okay. Which is both are non-yellow with replacement. All right. Now let's go to our TI calculator. Let's try to get these values here. So 16 will be 25 divided by 26 raised to the second power. This is going to be 0.924556213. We're going to look at that answer. And since we're here, let's say 25 divided by 26. Let's close that times 24 divided by 25. This is the without replacement. Okay. So if we're going to go again to the nearest Oh, again, what, thousands? So, four, and we look at the five. What does that five say to do to the four? It says to add what? One. 0.925. What does that zero say to do to the three? It says to simply what? Keep it the same. So as you guys can see, for number 8 and number, oh, it looks like what, 16, probably they're both yellow, we get both of these answers here. Now, they are pretty good probabilities. Let me remind you. Almost certain, almost certain is a probability that's, that's at least 95% or 0.95 because if you said, in language again, we said, well, what does that mean? Well, this is actually 92.5%. We talk to people. And this is actually close, 92.3% when we talk to people. So we can say, you know, 92.5% of the time when we select two marbles from this particular bag with replacement, the chance they're both are not white, we've got a 92.5% chance. That's language. Probability, though, is the decimal 0.925. And if we did the same thing without replacement, there's a 92.3% chance. So ladies and gentlemen, this is um, how we handle probability with multiple selections again. Here's the thing you do. You select them one at a time. One at a time. And you have to care. Is it with replacement or is it without replacement? So like I said, for some of these things here, what I'm going to do for you guys again is this. I'm going to put some of these um, examples here, right? I look for my browser. Okay. I'm going to put some of these examples here um, online for you guys. Let's find the browser. There you go. From this worksheet. Over here, I'll put some written examples from the worksheet, conditional probability, and also for probability multiple selections with the video links. 
Okay, so that's what's going on. Anyway, uh, to let you guys know, I do have office hours. Okay, and our office hours are in Canvas. So your homework that you guys now have, if we go back to the website, if you guys want to start some homework, I'm going to go to the video library. And yes, there was some confusion. Let me talk about a little bit of the confusion here. I want you guys to start on the homework on the web, probability, multiple selections. That's statistics lecture. Statistics lecture. Let's go down here. It looks like it's probably going to be, if you guys know, seven. So you have Statistics Lecture 7 on the website. Okay. And that's kind of where you're at. This is on the web. You can start on some web work. Now, James has a good question. I'm going to say, how do you turn in your homework or your exams? I'll let you guys know. Uh, the school is looking into an exam proctoring software called Proctorio. And we have to get training on that, Proctorio. And so we're going to look at that. I'm going to actually describe to you guys how you turn in your homework as well. So you get to probably use that software too to do it. But I'll keep you guys informed. So you still want to do your homework because this is going to help you with your test. And um, I'll continue tomorrow with this probability multiple selections. But now we're going to select three items with and without replacement. Okay, so if you guys have any further questions, since I'm keeping you a little bit longer, see me in office hours, okay? And um, I'll be on Canvas, so go go there and um, stay safe, okay? So I'll see you guys tomorrow.